We're gonna test this out. Whoa! Baby. Okay. <laughs> My head might be completely cut off. Okay, but first I have to pee. But my windows are wide open and my neighbors can all probably hear me talking to myself, which is fun. Welcome to my channel. This is my first sit down video. Gotta stop fidgeting. I've done vlogs before. They're probably gonna be better than this one because I already feel awkward as I only have 15 subscribers, so what's the worst that could happen? 15 people unfollow me and then I would cry. Now I'll just bear it all, bear my soul. I'm 21 years old, just turned 21. I also just got married. I'm an English major and I will be graduating after this semester. So yeah, I'm just gonna start because I don't know what else to say. Also, ooh, a little outfit of the day for you. I'm wearing pants, I promise. Shorts are from Goodwill. Shirt is from Goodwill. It's an extra large. I'm not an extra large. The shirt is. Don't subscribe to labels, kids. First question. And personally, I don't know. Like, I think anybody can pull off having short hair. I had short hair before in high school. Let me find a picture. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. There we go. So <laughs> most people will just say like, oh my gosh, okay, you look absolutely the exact same. And like, I do look similar, but my face changed enough that I had to change the way that I styled my hair with it. Like when I was in high school, I had an eating disorder for um, about a year and a half and I had a really like thin face because I was underweight. And now um, I'm about four or five years older and so my face is a little bit wider and like my jaw is broader and I'm not like 90 pounds. But it was just like a process. If you're thinking about cutting your hair, definitely go for it. There's a pixie cut for every face shape. So if you're worried about not being able to pull it off, just look up different types of pixie cuts. My biggest tips would be makeup goes a really long way. Chapstick break. This is one of like my main tools. I wake up, I shower, and then I put this in my hair when it is still damp. Literally, you need like a tiny, tiny bit. This is the product. It's focus. There. It's the L'Oreal Studio Overworked Hair Putty. And actually, um, I pulled this out, I think, on my honeymoon. I like brought it along and I was doing my hair and my husband walked in the bathroom and was like, Why are you using my hair product? And I was like, this is mine. And he said, I have the same one. So actually, I think this is meant for guys' hair, but if you have short hair, it's perfect. It keeps the like flippiness, the little curls, but it doesn't feel crunchy like gel. Now, if you look like a boy with long hair and then you cut your hair, you will look like a boy. Second question. For those of you who like are new to my channel or don't know who I am, I'm pretty active. And just the other day, me and my friend did like a triathlon day. We biked to a pool that was five miles away, swam a mile. Now I'm not a swimmer, so I died. Jordan was a swimmer in high school, so she was okay. Then biked back to my place. And then that night we went out and did um, a 5K. But it was a very, very active day. And I think that's where this question is stemming from. Honestly, I grew up doing stuff like that. So it comes easily to me. If you're trying to become more active and work up to being able to like maintain that level of activity throughout the day, or even just to run every day, I would say start slow, give yourself grace, and be consistent. You can't become great or even good or even comfortable without starting somewhere and without getting through that uncomfortable phase. And you have to be consistent. So set a goal, like run three times a week. Um, if you have a car, ditch the car. If you live within walking distance of anything, like within a mile or a mile and a half, walk there. And make sure that you're getting enough sleep. Like that sounds stupid because when you sleep, your muscles repair themselves. For the day that I did all that stuff with my friend, the night before that, I think I got like nine hours of sleep. Otherwise, I'm just like crabby and tired and my muscles will be so sore. Get enough sleep, be consistent, start small, 
and drink enough water. Just keep at it, be outside a lot. Like, think like a kid. When it's summer and it's nice out, go outside. Stop watching YouTube videos. Okay, like, I do that too. But get off your phone, stop watching TV. Go walk by the lake if you live in Milwaukee or, you know. <laughs>